Hello everyone, let's solve the problem, add two numbers. This problem is very similar to the problems that we have already solved. They are add binary, add strings and add to array form of integer. All the three videos are available on my playlist. I will link them in the description. Okay, now let's read the statement. You are given two non-empty linked lists representing two non-negative integers. The digits are stored in reverse order and each of their nodes contains a single digit. Add the two numbers and return the sum as a linked list. You may assume that two numbers do not uh, contain any leading zero except the number zero itself. All right. Let's see an example. We have two three four, two four three, and five six four. The sum is seven zero eight, but actually it is three four two and four six five, and the sum is seven zero eight. All right. Let's see two four three, five six and Four. Okay. The original numbers are three, four, two, and four, six, five. Now, their sum would be eight zero seven. So these numbers are in this way, in the form of linked list. All right. And in a linked list, when we have the head, because it's a singly linked list, we will have to iterate from this side only. Right. And in the original number, we are iterating from the, we are going from the same side, right? That is from 2 to 3, 5 to 4. Here also from 2 to 3 and 5 to 4. That means we are totally good to go. We will use the exactly same algorithm that we used in the previous three problems. So let's see. Okay. 5 plus 2 is 7. All right. 6 plus 4 is 10. We put 0. Carry 1. Right. 4 plus 3 is 7 plus one that is eight this is our answer this is in the form of a linked list right so the same way what are we going to need we are going to need a carry variable right we are going to need a dummy linked list that will store our answer fine now let's code it up let's create our linked list say answer equals to new list node say value is minus one and we will create a dummy head it will point to this link list what are we doing we are creating a dummy link dummy node okay and from the next we will store our values okay and this head initially points to this one fine at the end when we are going to return we will return this answer dot next okay and this head is going to move forward and store our values let's do that also we will have a carry okay while l1 is not null or l2 is not null do what int sum equals to carry right in the previous problems what did we do while i is j i comma j are inbounds so similarly while the head of both the linked lists are inbounds or say not null if l1 is not null let's add the value and let's move our l1 to the next position what did we do if this is l1 and this is sum we added this 2 to our sum and moved l1 to here now what we will do we have l2 we'll add this value to sum right and we will move l2 here okay so let's do that if l2 is not null sum plus equals to l2 dot val and l2 goes to the next fine now what now we have the sum right what are we supposed to do we are supposed to add this sum to our linked list right this will go here how will we do that add dot next equals to new list node sum modulus 10 why modulus 10 we want the last digit fine and carry is sum by 10 fine just the same thing that we are doing say our uh, sum is say 11 what is sum by 10 uh, some modulus and it's one right so we will put one here 
and some by tennis this one this will go as carry right exactly the same thing okay we will move our head to the next position we added this value here we will move head to here and then at the next iteration we will add the new value here so this way head will keep moving like this like this fine now in case we have a carry left what will we do we will create one more node that will be carry and its next would be null if you see the uh, linked list definition okay if we put a null here the constructor says that this value will be the uh, value of the link value of the node and if you put another linked list here another node here that would be its next next node okay the end return answer dot next so what will happen if we have answer this where is it this 708 would be stored here like this null so at the end we will return answer dot next this is the next right we need from here isn't it we will return answer dot next let's try to run it cool now what is the time complexity time complexity would be maximum length of either of the two linked lists right let's call it uh, n1 and n2 fine and what will be the space complexity the the same maximum of n1 and n2 fine so this is pretty much the solution if you like this video do hit the thumbs up button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye